Hi, welcome to my studio. Just another quick um, image editing video for you all. I'm in the Pixlr image editor, the free one again. And lots have asked, how do I prepare my images for the web when they take photos of their paintings and drawings? They never look punchy enough, the colors are always wrong and, and all that type of thing. So this is a pastel I did a little while ago of a lemur. And the photos come out pretty good, but it's not punchy, it's not how it looks in real life. And on this video, it's a very short video, I just wanted to show you one tip because when people do too many things on a video, you never, you know, people get confused. So all I want to do on you is just go adjustment levels. Now this is what I do on almost all of my photos. I've got a high-end digital camera, but even then it doesn't get things always right. So up comes this histogram, this little graph. Now here you'll notice there's a little black box, a gray one in the middle, and a tiny white one on the right hand side. The graph in the middle is showing on the left hand side, that's all your darks, your dark tones. On the right hand side is your right tone. So you, what you want is a graph similar to this, that's got your darks and your lights enclosed in this larger white box. If it's too far over this side, the darks will be blown out. If it's too far over this side, the whites will be blown out. So I know I can work within this and capture everything without blowing anything out. So if I grab the little black box, click it with my left mouse, hold it down and drag it over. You see the dark, if I go back, you see the dark going darker on the drawing, on the picture, and I take it just to the point where the dark is starting to go up. If I do the same on the white and I'm going to go much on this, I just drag that up. You can see if I go a long way, I'm going brighter, brighter, brighter. But if I just go until the white starts, I've still got all the detail in my highlights. The middle one, the light gray, obviously does the middle tone. So if I play around with that, you can see it's just doing the mid tones up and down. So if I just want to go slightly lighter there about there I think and then I can say okay if I then check back and have a look how it was and now how it is so you can see how we can get it much much punchier so that's a little tip something I do with virtually all my videos uh, all my images sorry before I put them online hope that helps and see you all again real soon on my tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk, I've got lots of full length videos, some up to eight or nine hours long. I've got ebooks on there as well. If you're looking for reference photos, because sometimes it's really hard to get very good, decent, copyright free reference photos you can paint and draw from. My website, www.wildlifeart-online.com has got about 900 or more photographs on there. Or perhaps you'd like to join my art community where every month I put up new videos, new reference photos, new wildlife line art. So that's patreon.com forward slash wildlife art. Love to see you on one of those soon or even here on my YouTube channel.